How is it going everybody? I hope you're all having the most wonderful day. Thank you to everyone for coming to the channel. It's so greatly appreciated. Today we're going to be talking about a few products and yeah, talking about a few products, how to decide which product is right and how to actually use it. So what is it for you may be asking? It's the interior of my car, but more specifically leather. Yep, leather care products. So let's get to it. Welcome back. So glad you could stick around. Leather products or any car care product nowadays runs the gambit. I mean, they've got stuff for everything. Some of them cross intersect. In other words, detail spray might work on this. This might work on that. You know what I'm saying? They kind of intermingle. And there's so many great companies out there. I mean, just to name a few. I mean, you've got Turtle Wax, you've got Griot's Garage, you've got Lithium Auto Care, you've got Ethos Car Care. There's, um, there's just one coat, you know, there's just so many. And all you gotta do is walk any Walmart and you can spend 10 minutes looking at the products in there and like, well, dang, which one Which one do I need? Which one do I want? Well, like I said, today we're gonna be discussing car care products for my leather. I have leather seats in here and everything, but we are not gonna touch on that today. What we're gonna touch on today, I have leather dash right here on my, on my dash pad. I have leather armrest. You have the leather boot right for this the shifter i'm not going to be touching on the steering wheel with this product but i will go over that and again the leather armrest now like i said there's a lot of products out there like lexol you know just just adams polishes chemical guys there's so many to choose from how do you decide which one to use well you know my leathers and stuff are, are in really good shape the tahoe the back seats are starting to you know need some help and love my z28 doesn't have a lot of leather outside of the steering wheel and i need to show it some love most definitely this car that i'm in now my 2012 2ss rs camaro is in perfect condition but with that said we want to keep it in perfect prediction condition so what do we do so how do we do it well traditionally i mean you've got several different products you have wipes you have sprays right you have liquids okay and my all-time favorite is a bomb type okay and a bomb type is more like the old traditional paste wax we'll get to the bomb here in just a minute what i've been using and this is just a quick quick detailer it provides a small layer of protection small layer conditioner and an absolute great smell of leather if you've ever went into a went with a woman to go into a handbag or be like be like at a big department store and walk through and they have a you know it's one of the finer uh, department stores and you go through the handbag section you can just smell that richness of leather or like a, a leather jacket shop something like that this product provides just that and what this is is the Grio's garage three in one wipes i love this product very easy to use you just pull one out wipe it until the the wipe becomes dry grab you another one out of here it's got some liquid in it not a bunch but it's got enough to keep it moist and you just go to town but like i said it provides a very minute layer of protection so it does a good job but we can do better as far as longevity next up you have the spray this particular spray is from a company well the next three products is from a company called lithium auto care they sent me this so if you want to call it sponsor you can call it sponsor but they know and you know that i will give a 100 percent honest review this is their new detail spray and what i really like about lithium auto care products is they try to use all natural ingredients like shea butters uh really uh, fine carnauba waxes and stuff like that moisturizers just you know they, it runs the gamut well, they try many different levels or mixtures to come up with what works but this is their inner space okay i've done a video on that and i'll put it up there i love this stuff it has a great scent great i mean your car just smells so good after and once you start spraying and wiping you want to keep going it makes it look that good it, it doesn't provide a, a sheen it just makes it look new again remember how your car looked when you got it new if you never had a new car get some of this and you'll understand but this can go on the seats it can go on the steering wheel it can go on the pads and all that stuff that i've already talked about and i know i'm talking fast but i'm trying not to drag this video out 
This can go on everything, the shifter boot, the shifter handle. It doesn't leave a greasy residue, so it's safe to use on my steering wheel, like I said. But we can do better than that. Now, if you have leather and you just want one product to do everything and it make a huge difference and not be greasy, be able to inst like if you put it on the seats you instantly want to be able to sit on, the wipes will do it. You can put that on and almost instantly, you know, give it five minutes just to make sure there's no leftover liquid. You can sit down on it and not worry about it getting on your pants. Another product by Lithium is their Hide Rehab. You can also use that. But this goes on like a wax. You get an applicator, right? Applicator pad or sponge, whatever you want to use. And apply this. Give it a few seconds. Go back and buff off the sheen and knock it down to the level that you want. But you can instantly tell a difference in the way it looks and the way it feels and the way it smells. It's not greasy. It won't be all over your butt when you get up. And like I said, it's not an oily, oily uh, feel to it, residue left over when you're done. And it's also great for perforated seats. So you don't have to worry about it getting in there and then turning it brown or anything like that because you know you can't get it out. Who's gonna go along with a toothbrush or a toothpick and try to get all that out? Not me, and I'm a car nut. I mean, I, I am. But this is another great option. But yet we can do better than this because this is for stuff that has been mildly neglected up to new that you wanna prevent anything from happening but we can do better than that. How can we do better or can we do better? Absolutely. Next up, you got the bombs or like the paste waxes. If you've never used a paste wax on your car, you owe it to yourself because you get the best shine, the best durability out of a straight up wax, out of a paste wax. I mean, the car noobers are just better in it and the application process is so therapeutic, you, you owe it to yourself. But lithium has a product called Leather Love, and it does just that. It loves the leather. But as you can see, it is a bomb, and once heat gets to it, it actually becomes almost liquefied. And it's like I said, it's got shea butters and stuff on it. It's, it's okay to get it on your skin. It's not going to hurt you. It's not poisonous. They use natural stuff. But what makes it so great, if you have older leather that has some cracking in it or, or pitting or anything like that, or it's lost its luster it's gone flat looking you can apply this stuff and it actually penetrates the pores the longer you leave it on the better it does it actually penetrates the pores and i've i've seen videos and testimonials of people using this on stuff that's really far gone and over months of applying this you know like once a week every time you wash your car go back and apply this the leather looks like new again it's it's unbelievable so that's what turned me on on this product, and I stand behind this product. I love this product. But I'm going to show you how to apply it. I'm going to show you the, the process, how it looks before, after, and all that. But what I'm trying to get, this car has never had any protection put on outside of the wipes. And like I said, the wipes are minuscule compared to something like this, okay? Even, even this is minuscule compared to this, okay? And this is their, their product, too. So what you want to do, you can do it by hand. I'm going to use an applicator and you just smooth it on. But the, what I was saying was, I'm sorry to jump around. My car has never had any deep protection put on it. So I want to bring back that look. I want to bring back that freshness and I want to provide the most protection I can for my leather. And then I will do tune-ups later on with either this, their hide rehab or the inner space. And then whenever I, once every season or once or twice every season, you know, once in the spring, once in the fall, go back to this. But let's get to it. I'll show you how it does, how it looks. And not only will you like it, you'll love it. This is some great stuff. All right, first thing we're going to do is take the lid off, of course. Take our applicator and just kind of fold it over. And as you can see, it's not... Look at how that's already starting to change the texture of that. So you know you're getting some on here. Look at that. But here's the before section, right? And we're just going to take it. And a little bit goes a long way, as you can tell. Just take it and rub it in. There's no special process. There's no... It doesn't matter if you go straight lines, circles, however you want to do it. 
just apply it let it sit for a few minutes and come back with a microfiber and buff it off but you can already tell yes it is shiny I understand that a lot of people don't like that but it won't be like that when we get done I promise so I'm just gonna go ahead and do the whole dash pad and bring you right back for the removal process all right as you can see I now have the whole dash pad coated took like 10 seconds no big deal so now I'm gonna move on to my center console again it is super easy and a little bit goes a long way just a couple little swipes across there and you can see how it looks it's kind of dry looking this stuff does not smell and it does not sting so you can go right over the stitching it does not hurt him anything and I already can see a difference between the before and the after again you can put it on a circle you can put it on straight lines it does not matter and the reason I do this type of stuff as I say in all my videos these are large investments next next to our house they're the second largest investment we have so we owe it to them at the very least to try to keep them protected I mean man and like I said there's no smell to this product it's not greasy feeling at all which is super great but it, it just goes on and I'm gonna show you that now I'm gonna show you that now with the time and I'm gonna give it I don't know however long it takes to do those five ten minutes I'm gonna do the armrest and then we'll be right back but here's the time the time is 4 6 p.m. so I'm gonna hit up these two armrests real quick and show you how it looks when we wipe it off all right let's see what time it was it's gonna be a few minutes later because I actually went in and did the shifter boot as you can see it's nice and lubricated but there's the cracking I was telling you about if you look on that you know just from being put in reverse over years from parking you know it's the shifter boot will get some cracking in it so let's see what time it is and this stuff over time will take care of that crack 414 right there okay here we are you remember here we are this is protected got the uh, leather love on there we're going to take a dry microfiber towel clean microfiber towel it doesn't matter if it's a high dollar one or a cheap one i always use cheap ones for this because once they become stained if they ever do you can just throw them away and not really lose that much money five bucks for a pack of 12 i mean how can you go wrong well hopefully this is coming through you can see that this is dry compared to that so all you got to do is just take the microfiber and knock it down now look at how good that looks it does it there's not a big shine on it it just looks brand freaking new it is unbelievable at how good this product is and like i said now this dash pad leather is protected and now has Look at how dark, hard, how dark looking that is. I haven't gotten that up there yet. But it now has a, um, a layer of protection. The leather actually has moisturizers in it now, rather than just being dried off. We'll get that whole section over there in just a minute. But here's the, the armrest while we're over on the side. Again, it's shiny because it's wet. And now we just take the dry microfiber and knock it down. That quick it's not shiny looking because it's wet i hope it's coming through on camera it's not shiny looking because it's wet it has just ever so slightly a sheen on it just like it did when it was brand new i absolutely love this product and again it's not oily to the touch or anything now here's the one caveat caveat however you want to say if and I'm going to, especially on the tire. If you use it on your seats, right? This is not a product I personally, I personally would recommend. I may be wrong, but I personally would not recommend putting it on there and then just wipe it off and then directly go to, to driving. I would put it on, let it sit for, you can let it sit overnight, two days, three days, it doesn't matter, and then come back in and knock it off. But I personally wouldn't sit, put it in, five minutes later come knock it off and then go drive the vehicle i personally would not do that will it stain your clothing or anything no but i just would not do it because i have a feeling 
because this has a lot of moisturizers and stuff in it to rejuvenate the leather I have a feeling that it may not stain your clothes but you may be able to tell that it's on your clothes if that makes any sense plus it won't have time to actually cure and and soak into the leather if you're going to do instant stuff this the inner space or the leather conditioner hide rehab i would i would use one of those three products all right here we are over on the other side same thing as before just wipe it off buff it down And I'm not pressing hard. I'm just lightly wiping over. I mean, like I said, it's non-greasy. It has natural ingredients made in the United States, non-oily, non-residue, perfect UV. And the ingredients they use, like the shea butters and stuff, have natural UV protectants in it, so you don't have to worry about it drying out your leather, drying out your plastic if you get it on it, none of that stuff. And it has moisturizers in it that are also from the shea butters and the carnubas and all that great stuff to bring back your leather, make it look like new. But again, I'd like to thank each and every one of you for coming. Like, share, subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. Take care and get out there and enjoy those cars. Thanks for watching.